Hey guys. So it is Saturday, February 29th, leap day. And I am getting ready to leave the house for a few days. And so I'm just gonna go around and take a peep at everything. I think Sweet Maya is gonna meet me out here. Um, and I'm just gonna do a little walkabout before I leave on a really cool adventure. Hey Gabriel, hey handsome man. Oh, look at his kind eyes. Oh, are you a sweet boy? Gabriel's actually one now. And he is over here in this yard with no goaties uh, because Noah was working next door and had to have the front gate open. There's these big goofy guys. Hey guys. Bear's like, why am I not with you? <laughs> kind of been sharing with you guys daily this week. Uh, so as you know, my baby sister got married this morning. We had a really beautiful time. And my bags are currently packed and I'm getting ready to go to Iowa, to Des Moines, Iowa is where I'm flying into, to go visit Murray McMurray Hatchery. So I'm super, super pumped about that, to go visit our friends there and take a look at their place. I will be shooting video of that. You won't see it till the end of the week, whenever I get back. Because although I'm taking my camera, and I am taking something to write with, I'm actually not taking my video editing laptop, uh, because I'm kind of taking a few days off from that. Which is good it's good to have breaks and rest i was gonna go that way but i think i'm gonna go this way instead <laughs> this hot greenhouse all my sprouts are gonna be so much bigger by the time i get back i'm gonna be like doing nothing but transplanting when i get back as of right now these guys have not been put in yet but when i turn the camera off that's gonna be my last task before leaving. It's getting really warm in here right now on sunny days because it's pretty warm outside. I think the forecast said there were gonna be freezing nights, like barely, like just right at freezing over the next couple weeks. Um, it's gonna be pretty mild. I'm kind of wondering if the cold weather will come back. It very well could. Benjamin's birthday is next week and he was born in an ice storm so it could still freeze. It's warm enough out here that sweet Maya's got a tank. Well, gotta represent. Oh, were you a sweet big boy. <laughs> I don't know why we're so much more exciting outside. <laughs> we like we're in the house, like they're in the house with us just a little bit ago and they're just like completely indifferent to us but we come outside and they just wanna be where we are, which we is sweet. Two, we got two new roosters. Yeah, I told the I showed him the roosters yesterday. Ben wants to name one handsome. Handsome. All right, come on around with us, spoiled dogs. It is so windy. I hope you guys can hear this. Okay. So <laughs> weird if I talk to you like this. You feel like a friend with your hand with my hands. Like, hey guys, are you listening to us? <laughs> okay, standing in the backyard, right there. You can kind of see the corner of our new. No dig, kind of lasagna garden, mm, no till. Lasagna, not. You don't like lasagna. No dig, no no till garden. And then back here you see some trees. Now, just a little while ago, like a couple weeks ago, we brought you guys back here and kind of shared our vision for this space. For this year, for next year, we're not 100% sure how long it's gonna take us to do everything. Now, very long story short, I'm gonna try to like give you the Cliffs notes here. Those of you who have been with us for a while know this. Last year we got approved for the NRCS high tunnel grant. However, one of the stipulations was that you had to stay in your property for like five years or something like that. And we've shared that we don't know that this is our forever property. At some point we feel like we're gonna expand. And so we did not feel like we could honestly take that grant. Like basically we wanted to do things with integrity and so we declined on that which is kind of hard yeah it was kind of hard to say no to that but free greenhouse. right but we were like well no we want to make sure we do things the right way we said no to that and this year came around it's something we still really wanted to do and we will have more information later and we will be sharing the process with you. The dogs are getting really upset because that rooster is going after that hen and she doesn't like it. Look at him. They're all like, no. I will kill that rooster. No, I'm like, no, you no. will kill that chicken. <laughs> don't even lie, Con. Don't even lie. You don't discriminate. <laughs> you kill both of them. Everybody gets a squishy plaything. <laughs> Goodness. My voice is gone. Okay. So, where we're at right now, and you have all of this to look forward to experiencing, 
but we just got the shipping notification from Grower Solution for our new high tunnel yesterday. Yeah! So that's gonna be happening. We're actually not even aiming to put that up probably until after the shindig, is that yeah, right? Yeah, it'll be after the shindig. After the shindig, so we're gonna have like a crazy busy next four or five weeks. But then after that, we're putting it in to be able to plant this year. It's so, gonna be a busy few weeks. It's gonna be a really busy all few weeks. All of our weeks. fowl, all of them ship the week after the shindig. It's gonna be really crazy. <laughs> and you get to do it with us. Are you so excited? And we're gonna get a high tunnel! High Freaking high tunnel. out. <laughs> like, I feel like I wish I had more editing skill here because I'd be like, fireworks! Bam! You know those little cartoon things, but instead I have the scratchy voice, and I'm like, <laughs> Yay! For real though, I am incredibly thrilled. So excited about this year, everything that it's going to hold. Um, that is going to be a really cool thing for two reasons. Um, obviously, we are in a hot area. Just showed you that my greenhouse is almost 100 degrees, and it is, you know, it's February, last day of February, but it gets really hot. And so a greenhouse or something like that that is not really well ventilated is useless in the summer because it's way too hot for anything to live inside of it. However, the version of high tunnel that we are choosing to put up is a high side wall so you can really ventilate it. You can take essentially the sides off. You can ventilate the ends. I want to be able to grow tomatoes through the summer and be able to completely control the moisture on them because my biggest issue that I deal with in the summer with growing tomatoes is the humidity because we, I think last year, it would like rain five minutes a day for like 14 straight days and then be like super hot. Right. And so definitely um, not good conditions for growing uh, plants that are prone to like blight. I'm super thrilled about that. We're gonna try to get it up and get it functional for this year to be able to plant in it this summer but at the very least it's going to extend our growing ability to be able to grow cool weather crops all year long all through the winter i'll never have to buy kale again okay -ha -ha -ha, never again <laughs> yeah you might be eating those words yeah <laughs> i might be eating some kale <laughs> little good boy here right by my side and mr go run into the front yard and try to run away while we're shooting a video is back in the yard. Sometimes people express a lot of concern for Khan on our channel. They're like, he's always in the backyard. He seems so sad. I'm like, well, he's a lot happier than if he were hit by a car, which whenever we're busy and he's not got our full attention, he just wants to go play. And they're moving things in the road. Mm. Look at him. He's like, look, I could catch it. I really think I could. He's a really great boy. He gets lots of attention inside when he can have our full attention when the camera's on not a good time to hang out with con <laughs> what so we were just discussing the fact that when jeremiah goes out of town and i'm here by myself we actually don't put it on youtube because i'm here until after yeah until after he's back and then we'll tell people we don't tell people when i'm here by myself but like whenever i'm going out of town we're like hey guys i'm going out of town i'm gonna be here for this long I guess people don't want to come try to intrude our home whenever Sweet Mai is here. No. I mean, if that's how you want to spend your life, uh, I think it's a very poor decision making. <laughs> Thank if you I guys. If I don't get you, Ben Turner will get you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today. I'm really looking forward to showing you my adventure and Sweet Mai is going to be vlogging while I'm gone. We actually shot one video for to share. Well, I'm gone, but for the most part, it'll be him without me. Anyway, thank you guys. We bless you. Uh, we love getting to share our little victories and our triumphs and the excitement of new development with y'all. It makes it so much sweeter. It's going to be a big year. We bless you. Until next time.